I wanted to share one of my favorite science stories. This is a true story from history. This is from around World War II. And I love it because you know how there's, there's always these heroes and they're running around and you know, a lot of times it's because of their strength or agility or something like that. And, and this just comes down to chemistry. So I think that's pretty awesome. All right, so this is in World War II. This is Germany, so Nazi-occupied Germany. What happened was, at that point, there had been quite a few Nobel Prizes that had been awarded. So lots of Nobel Prizes are floating around the world to all the recipients. Now, Nobel Prizes, they had money, but also you got a gold coin. And when you got this Nobel Prize, it's a gold coin. This is not just a little coin. This was seven ounces of 23 karat gold that you got. So pretty special there. And what happened was that there were two German scientists who won the Nobel Prize prior to World War II, and they snuck their gold coins out of Germany and brought them to Copenhagen. And the reason why they snuck them out was because Nazi Germany at that point, they were confiscating all gold, of course, to go towards the war effort to back the Nazi army. And so the scientists snuck those coins out, they brought them to Copenhagen. Okay, well, we all know what happened then eventually Copenhagen was infiltrated by the Nazis. And they knew that those Nobel Prize coins were hidden somewhere. And so they were looking around and there was a super awesome chemist. He was Hungarian. His name is George, uh, okay, I have to look. Uh, George de Havasi, I might not be pronouncing it right, but this Hungarian chemist was trying to figure out what can I do to hide these coins? And so, you know, something you, anyone could do quickly would be to bury them. And so he thought about that and then, no, that might be too obvious. So he was trying to think of something to do, but of course he's a chemist. So he thought, uh-huh, how could I hide them? He had a lab and how could they be hidden inside of a lab? Well, there is something you can do to gold. Now, why is gold so precious? Gold is so precious because it lasts a long time. It is not reactive. And so unlike something like copper, when copper sits out, eventually it turns green, right? Well, gold does not because it is so unreactive. But if you are clever and you know a bit of chemistry, you can figure out a way to get gold to react. All right, so there are two extremely strong acids. One of them is hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is a very strong acid, but it will not dissolve gold. Nitric acid is another very strong acid. Now, it will dissolve gold. It will go in and it will grab atoms of the gold, but eventually it will just dissolve a couple of the gold atoms. But when you put hydrochloric acid and nitric acid together in a specific ratio, you make a ratio, um, you make a new mixture of those two acids together, you get something very special. And it has a special name. It is called aqua regia, royal water. And this mixture is able to one part of it, grab those gold atoms and bring them into solution. And then the other one reacts with the gold and keeps it in solution. And so what George de Hevesy did, this Hungarian chemist, is he put those seven ounce Nobel Prize coins of gold, of 23 karat gold, into aqua regia and dissolved it. And then you know where he put it? He, he hid it in plain sight. He took those bottles and he just put them right on the shelf in a chemistry lab amongst all the other bottles of all these other chemicals that were in the lab. And so the Nazi army went in and they were looking everywhere. They were looking for gold coins. They were looking on the shelves. They probably looked right at the bottles that had all seven ounces of that gold in those bottles, but 
they hadn't taken their chemistry class. <laughs> and so they didn't know what they were looking for. And so this has a happy ending. And that is that George de Hevesy went back and after the war was over, he knew exactly where to go. And he put, I love that these shelves behind me, right? He went and he grabbed those bottles with those two solutions of gold in them. He brought them back to the Nobel Prize place in Stockholm and he said, here you go, here are the gold coins in this solution. And you know what they did? They recast those Nobel Prize coins and they gave them back to the original owners. And I know there was, one of them had a ceremony, the other um, Nobel Prize winner may have passed away at that point, but um, they were recast as the, the, coin, the original coins. And another really awesome thing is that he happened to win the Nobel Prize in 1943 three years after this all happened. And it wasn't even related to that. He got his Nobel Prize in radioactivity. So um, that's a, kind of a, a really cool gift that he got and all for being clever. And anyway, I just love that story. And um, it's just, it's magnificent for so many reasons. And it's um, also wonderful that there's a happy ending as well. That's always good bonus there. So I hope you enjoyed my story and remember to always make time for science.